Hey everyone, thanks for joining me today in my channel here. And um, as everybody knows, if you've watched any of my previous videos, uh, if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, absolutely like the video here. And, but anyway, if um, you've been watching my channel, you know, I've kind of been sick and I haven't been able to be on here. Um, recently, I, when I was in the hospital last week, I had a lung collapse and my left lung here collapsed. And so anyway, um, I wanted to get on here and kind of just talk about, um, since I've kind of got able now, um, I'm not hurting as bad. Um, when your lung collapse, I, I'll tell you, it's very seriously painful. But anyway, where I'm now healing and getting better, I want to try to come back on YouTube slowly and do some cleaning maybe around the house. Um, I'll do in cleaning play and voiceover just because they get a little tighter, but some of them will be a little fast forward, maybe a little um, uh, voiceover, but I wanted to be able to get on here and enjoy getting to be with y'all guys today. I, I love my channel and I, it's growing. I, I'm so humble about this. And I wanna try to do a daily video. Um, that Just that way I can you know, I want y'all to be able to know that y'all can, that I'm here each day. Whether I'm doing a cleaning video, just a little chit chat maybe, uh, we're going somewhere, you know, or something. Um, again, you know, if you don't know in the past, I do love to travel. Um, I have also a mobile home. It's a 16 by 80, four bedroom, two bath. And there's just so much here. I bought this new, but it's, I mean, it's a tw over 20 years old about what 23 almost 24 years old now so i mean you know there's been some wear and tear everybody knows that a mobile home depreciates but hey we can turn this place and i guess our own little mobile home little mansion here and you know have you checked the new prices in them 149 let's say for a double wide 179,000. i mean i don't know if, how if you know how the ad goes on that but let's say you bought a nice double wide for $179,000. Do you mind what your monthly payment's going to be? It's right at $1,000 per $10,000 that you're, I mean, sorry, $100 per $10,000 you're going to pay. So at $179,000, which is basically $180,000 plus your tax and whatever your tax is to your state. So that's going to be added on your home. So here it would be almost uh, $20,000. So you're paying almost $200,000 for mobile home. And even though, yes, it's gonna be bigger, modern, you know, things like that. Um, you're also, like I said, you're paying uh, 100 on every 10,000 that you borrow. So that would be $2,000 a month. I mean, that, that's a lot of money adding up. When you could do repairs to your old one, and like mine's paid off for an example. And you know, I'm gonna wanna start doing more repair work here. And it's just, I ain't had the money lately where I had been sick and you know, that's the reason I hadn't been able to do much repairs lately. But you know, I'm really looking forward to kind of, you know, I'm just looking around the house here. Just, I'm really looking forward to getting small things done at a time. Now there's some things we might have to hire somebody to come into. Uh, to do fours uh like I, I do need to redo the shower and bathtub area and it bathtub's got just a little bit of a nick in the bottom of it and i tried putting me and my husband both tried putting um uh, uh the sealant on it to, and it just would not seal up and so anyway and i tried painting it and it just it don't look right I mean, yeah, it's clean, things like that, but it's just, it needs to be replaced. Now, I actually thought about having a professional as I get the money coming in to put a professional looking modern shower in it. And I already bought my, um, for the shower, I already bought the heads and things like that for the shower and everything um, that I wanted, very pretty color too. Um, I spent almost $300 at Lowe's just buying that. Never used to in the box. Um, but I would like to have a modern looking shower, maybe replace that bathtub. And of course, 
you know, it, it, it leaks a little. So, I mean, the floor is going to have to be replaced under the bathtub and around the walls. I want those replaced and put wa um, the water walls up. And anyway, um, but I'm, I think it's going to be best to maybe hire somebody to do that, uh, whoever contracts to do that. And I'd like to do that in that main bathroom. Um, I mean, there's just a little stuff here and there I want to replace. I'm very unsatisfied. My cabinets here, as you can see, well, it'll be this way. Um, I'm very unpleased with them because my, as you can see in the video here, my drawers and stuff. What am I showing it right? Let me see. Yeah. Uh, my drawers right here. I can't get them to stay shut. They just, my husband's tried to fix them. But this is how they look. I mean, I, I just don't get it. I mean, I, we've tried and tried. And I don't want to replace the whole counters. I mean, that would just be a lot of money. Um, so I thought we'd do a little here, a little there. And I want to, I want to check though, see how much in the new drawers would be, but I want the kind you can just barely touch and it just folds itself in. So anyway, I need to check the prices on those. Um, um I'm going to put new, uh, take all the counter. I want to repaint this, redo all of it, the countertops eventually and paint all the doors. I hadn't decided the colors. <laughs> What's y'all guys' opinion? Leave it in the comments. What do you think the, um, maybe my cabinet's color should be? And, but I've got some ideas rolling around, um, that I want. And I, I thought about really hard for the kitchen here. I mean, I know what I want in the bathroom. But like I said, though, it's maybe cost a little bit, you know, having to hire a contractor or whatever. But, um, I want to get that done too. And um, throughout here, I just try to figure out the color on the cabinet um, and all my doors and stuff. Uh, just trying to figure out maybe what color. I kind of like it now, but it's kind of dark. So I don't know, I've thought about it. Just wanting to brighten it up in here to open up the color in here. And Cause just to me, and something's got to be done with this wall. My husband, he built it so with our TV would have another wall. See, this was all open over here against the sink, so it was open straight out, and you know, like an open floor plan with just the counter right there with the sink, and we just need an extra space to put TV at. So anyway, he built the wall on the other side to hang our TV up and stuff, just to make it more roomy. Now, I love the concept, I loved how he done, but we need to do some more finishing. And I don't know, I've just got to put together and see what kind of deco I could put behind it. It'd be the best to paint it, you know, the same color as the rest of the walls, or maybe just some accent decoration there. Um, I don't know, I've just, I've got some mixed minds about that one, so may just do paint, but I just got some ideas rolling to my head about it and you know we'll slowly but surely get to stud and but I, I want you to join me for the ride of doing this um you know it, it takes a while and financially it takes a while so just kind of got to wait to i have a little bit more financially coming in had a lot of bills too lately so um i just kind of have to touch base i get those done first and then move on with this. So it's not that I forgot about my channel or even forgot about wanting to do things in my home. It's just, I ain't really, I've been sick a whole lot. I ain't been able to work, got some behind on bills. And I am also gonna do, not in today's video, but I would like to do a video and leave in the comments too, if you'd like to see a video like this, since I just got monetized. How much do you make? What happens? once you get monetized. And I thought about doing a little short video on that. Um, I've had one month I've been monetized and no, I haven't got paid anything yet. Um, I'll tell you this real quick. Once you get monetized to be able to reverse your payover to your bank account, you got to have a hundred dollars. I've hit 70 and thanks to everyone, my watchers, subscribers, 
I've hit 70 people or $70 so far. And like I said, I've been sick. I mean, so very sick. I had bad lung infection. When they went in to clean my lungs out, I've got what they call MAC lung infection. And my all of my bit of my lungs is clogged up. Uh, the lung doctor I see, he said when he got, he said, I don't even know how she's breathing. She, he was telling my husband, he said, she should have had no room for no air to come in. He said, I, he said, honestly, I thought, I just thought she should be at the point, should be dead already. I mean, I hate to say it like that, but that's kind of how you put it. Um, that just, I was in the lack of no oxygen get in there where I was so clogged up with this Mac infection the doctor just said, I don't see how she's still living. Breathe through her chest or her lungs at all. And so anyway, during the middle of the surgery, or during the surgery at some point, of course, I was put to sleep. I woke up and, of course, kind of drowsy. And anyway, uh, the nurse is like, we're going to have to keep you. It was supposed to be in an outpatient. And I'm like, what? Keep me. I thought I was going home, you know. I was, I was kind of drowsy, though, from being put to sleep. And she's like, yeah, you have a collapsed lung on one side. And I'm like, collapsed lung? I didn't come in here for that. <laughs> and I didn't realize what happened, and they explained it. Um, I think when they was taken while I was asleep, when they was taking the bronch tube out, where they cleaned my lungs out and all that from the infection, um... I think what happened was, if I understood right, now I'm the doctor correctly on this, but it is right when they was getting ready to take the tube out, I started coughing. And I was asleep during this whole time and coughing real bad. And they said that's what they think the lung collapse was from. So I'm like, never heard of it, but I mean, hey. And so anyway, I stayed in the hospital a little over 24 hours. They had, um, thank goodness, they, you know, thank the Lord, they didn't have to put a chest tube in me to draw the air out of my lungs so it'll reinflate properly. And say hi, Caleb. Hi. This is my little boy, Caleb. Hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Yes. Say hi, friends. Hi, kids. Uh -oh. I kind of wish I had a switch that can actually make YouTube videos. Okay. My son wants to be uh, a YouTuber eventually too. Like on my so Nintendo Switch. So he wants to be like his mom a lot. Like, but I may need a modded Switch with like a camera. I know. And also a camera app on it. And also longer videos too. Yeah. On my Switch and the capture app. It's where all my photos are at. I told Caleb what? once, uh, hang on. I told Caleb once that, um, you can hear that um, once I get my channel built up some, we I could help him fix maybe him a channel up. And he's he's been wanting a YouTube so bad, but I mean, of course, I'd be totally over it and videos he made or anything. But it's, it's something that's like exciting him. Yet. And he's been talking about wanting to be a YouTuber. And I'm so, so like I'd like to get him there. On the 3DS, you can all, um, I think he wants to do a lot of gaming videos. Yes, and also pretty cool videos, like also other videos that aren't related to gaming, but they're also like Lego animation videos and that stuff. Oh, he wants to do Lego animation videos? <laughs> and also other videos, like... And gaming videos? Yes, and I'm going to call it... Caleb Sips Ultimate Gaming. But Caleb Sips is actually my name in Little Big Planet, Free <laughs> and Dreams on the PS4. I actually have a PS5. So here you go, folks. This is what Caleb wants to do, right? Yes. His first, I guess, work journey that would be considered when he builds his channel. So. Everyone, you'll have to subscribe to Cable's channel once we get it done. And that may be a few months or so. Um, we, we're going to start off slowly at it. When we may get my Switch Marvel just to our camera, too. And also make yeah. longer videos on that capsule app. Yeah. 
No, so I should be like, like a really very interface and then this. Also, I can probably also have to edit photos and videos on my face. You're so. gonna edit some photos and videos? Yes. Okay. And also, I'm, like, the only way to edit photos is just by adding text. You got very big plans, don't you, say? But I just only need to mod. Some may only need to mod it. Yeah. But not, not entirely mod it, but the capsule at least. Do you have all the big plans? We made a time bit. Yes, I have big plans on making pretty cool videos. All like right. Making Zooms games videos where I'm going to make a game in Zooms, but I'll also show you all how I'm making it. Like, how I'm actually making the Zoom scene. And then That's putting cool. all the scenes into the Zoom. You can see how I'm developing the game. I'm also going to make a sweater. I'm also going to publish to YouTube. That's good. And also, I'll also publish my sad boy animations and dreams too. You hear that, folks? And this is what Caleb kind of wants to do and also my during his animations. channel. Caleb is very uh, addicted to electronics, he loves electronics. I, I'm not saying just game yeah. and stuff. He and also, loves, like, for example, here, son, this is an old camera I, I used to have. And, I mean, it wouldn't be good for YouTube or nothing like that. But he but wanted it. I actually... And had found it in a drawer thing. I'd had. And, anyway, he wanted it. And, and it so actually he, works. Like, it works. I mean, he, he plays, you know, that's kind of for him to just Look. snap shots and play with. Look, yeah. it works. As it, yeah, it does. No, I'll just pretend to take a photo, but All right, actually, he's pretending. there's no memory card in it. Oh, it died. Oh, died on me. I have to yes. switch batteries again. And, but, I mean, he, he really likes the, the old stuff, old electronics. Um, If you had an old phone that turned on, he just, he loves it. And... Of course, he loves different game systems and things too. But Caleb really, he's he gets into a lot on games, also, electronics. I have a 3DS. My Kate gave it to me. His older sister, that was hers, and she gave it to him. That was hers when she was young. But and also iPod Touch Six Generation. I and also it's the same because. She gave it to me when I was like three years old and I was really little, I think. And I got the password long too many times and now my mom will have to factory reset. But actually, they say that the newer Macs don't support, they don't sit with iTunes anymore. So right. you may have to use a Windows computer. Um, we can get someone to factory reset it with their computer. As you can see, he loves electronic. He always has. And, of course, he loves his games. Look, but he don't even... Look how thin it is. He said when he grows up, eventually, he wants to make video games. Yes. And also, I can just design. make video games and dreams, too. And he loves anything to do with designing, like games and things. And also, I kind of we made... Hello Rainbow and Zooms. And we got... Oh, Hello Zoomer. And we got a... Uh, Caleb, uh, uh, two or three years ago, Caleb got a, a Kano computer. It's um, for kids, but it's a coding computer, isn't it? Yes. To help learn kids how to code. And that's really been beneficial with him a lot. Uh, considered his first laptop, you know... Um, also, and he said he still go over there and play with it. He even found an old computer. Uh, somebody gave him, he asked, could he have it? And they said yes. And because it was like a yard sale, but they just was going to throw that away. And Caleb came in here and hooked it up to his Kano to have one of those bigger keypads. And so, I mean, he even, he, he's very smart when it comes to electronics. Um, and he has a very good gift. Um, I think so. With yes, being only seven, he can already read 
Of he's course, dead right now. He's a seven-year-old, and he can already read and above the sixth-grade level. It's coming to eat a saber until it gets back to you, said. Yeah, the iPhone got messed up. No, you mean, I mean iPod. Sorry, iPod. It got messed up, and it's got to be factory reset. And I just got to sit down and figure out eventually how to do it. like, it got the same tone at me. My daughter forgot her password on it. Anyway. No, you mean I. I forgot the password. Like, oh. I was very little. And I couldn't use this iPod anymore. Um, but anyway, in today's video, um, I'm just going to be doing some little housework. It ain't going to be a whole lot. Um, mostly I wanted to have a little chit chat session and you know, where I've been sick just yesterday, my right through here was really hurting and today I'm a lot, you know, I'm feeling a lot better, but I don't want to overdo myself. So, I, you know, you forgive me for the short video today. This. Yeah. I, I play PlayStation Portal. I, I tell you, that's, if you're into the PlayStation 5, life changer for our parents right here. Well, we're gonna do a video on that portal sometime yes. soon, aren't we? I can literally play Zooms on it. It's pretty nice, but wait a minute, wait a minute, I only need Wi-Fi. We're gonna do a separate video on that. Yes, I know. But Caleb, I have to tell you a lot about that because he knows I'll help coach him on some things about, you know, how do you power it on, different things, and help him with the say in it. But he's gonna have to be the main one that shows you about that portal. This button's here beside the power button, if you can see it. Yeah, I may have oh, to. Easy. You may have to zoom in. Oh, okay. Well, honey, we're going to wait to another video the to show. The button. Okay. How can I show you? The, okay. The, there's a, a link button beside here. Okay. When you press and hold it, it's for linking we'll, a, we'll do a something video. like a headset, like that PlayStation headset to it. That was made by Sony. Uh-huh. Okay, again, well, let's do this one in a separate wow, video. Sorry, yeah, folks. But. He gets excited. He wants to talk about it, but I don't want to just really talk about that today. You because or right yeah. now because I'm gonna let him tell about his PlayStation Portal and give all details in one video about that only. Like, but hang yeah, on, baby. So on YouTube, people made a Nintendo Switch Pro and also uh -huh. a Nintendo Switch OLED Pro. It's a very cool thing on YouTube. It's like a modded switch of very cool stuff like emulators and a custom theme. And also, a way to run cartridges without even having to put the cartridge in. But you only probably have to put the cartridge in when you first get a game. I will say to everybody. Here on YouTube. Also, um, there's one thing about my heart, it's just, like, there's like a home menu that actually replaces the, um, okay, was again the, okay, the capture thing on the home menu on the switch. Okay. That capture app that has all your know, photos and videos on it. It'll be replaced with a home menu. Okay, baby. Hang on, let me finish. This up. And he loves to talk about his electronics. And uh, wait a minute, son. Um, remember, it's a cleaning video I'm doing this time mostly. And chit chat. I probably just made a video on my PS. Like I made a YouTube video on my PS. That's my life right there, everybody. That, that's my little buddy. He's. He's my last one. I had him at age of 42, and he's my last little one. I've got five kids, but the rest of them are grown. And, you know, just having kids in this house has made wear and tear. You know, it happens. And I've had five kids to grow up in this home. And so there's got to be a lot done. But, you know, hey, I've got confidence. I'm not, I'm doing a lot better. I'm healing. I'm, I'm slow about things because, you know, you don't want to reverse your healing. You want to go forward. But, you know, God's blessed me a whole lot. I don't know what your faith or religion or belief is. You know, I, I welcome everybody in my channel. 
Um, I love each and every one of you. Um, because to me, the Bible, that's what it says to do. It says to love each and every one of you. And I just want to put in there the empathy of, you know, when you watch this channel now, since I am monetized, um, that helps me get paid to be able to do daily, eventually, con content. And, you know, whether it's paying my lot bill, buying groceries, um, just a lot of things around here, you know, basic needs, um, and even improvements on the house. I want to be able to use that and take you on this journey with me. Um, I, I, I enjoy doing YouTube videos. Uh, it would be hard for me to probably do a lot of public work now due to the fact I've had a heart attack uh, almost two years ago. And they think at the same time I had my heart attacks when the lung infection came in because I had the flu and a heart attack at the same time. But then while I was in the hospital, this started right after that. And they told me that they said some of the bacteria that had got my lungs possibly did, could have caused by a hospital stay. So I'm thinking maybe that's, so I've been sick for almost two years and get infection in here and just getting build up, you know, inside your chest and it's, like I said, doctor said he didn't know how I was breathing. I was so full of this infection. But anyway, we're, we're starting treatment of antibiotics and all that. And um, just my lung had to get better where it uh, collapsed. But I am doing better. I am improving. Um, a little sore here and there. And that's the reason I, I want to get back in the groove of things. But I'm going to have to do it slowly. And again, forgive me. If, if you're new to my channel, I do want to say subscribe. Um, more subscribers, the more I reach out there, the more YouTube will generate my content out there further. So, the, um, also too, um, don't forget to like and give this, uh, video a thumbs up. That also, once you give the video a thumbs up, even comments, things like that, um, that also, uh, kind of sends the video up to YouTube will support it more and get it to the higher levels. So that helps me out, of course, since I am monetized now, making more money and get more payment. So, uh, and again, I wanted to do a video and I may release that very soon, just a talk session about when you hit the milestone of the thousand subscribers, 4,000 watch hours to be monetized and to get paid. And I mean, everyone can do it. I never thought I'd reach it, to be honest. And it took me several years of off and on on YouTube. I didn't do daily. Of course, I've been sick a while and things happen. But, you know, I, I do want to do a monetization of uh, YouTube and what things, you know, is like once you get monetized and how much kind of payment and vicinity of what maybe I'm getting paid. I'm still trying to learn that out a little bit. Sorry, I wanted to check the lighting there. And lighting kind of went dimmer, looks like. Um, but I want to be able to just let each and every one of you know kind of what it's been like for me so far since I have been monetized a month. And like I said, I haven't been able to do videos like I wanted to because of, you know, being sick. But once I've got monified now, my, I mean, excuse me, monetized. I want everybody to know <clears throat> what I'm making um, just in, in a one month period. And this is not being able to do a lot of videos. So it's going to be a lesser amount, but still, I can see the point in my YouTube growing and how it could grow and, you know, how to be able to make money in it. And that's why I want to be able to share it to y'all. So be watching out for that video in the next few days. Um, I would really enjoy making that for y'all, and I hope you enjoy watching, watch and enjoy that kind of video to be made. Um, leave it down in the comments if you would enjoy seeing a video about my experience of being monetized for one month and what I'd get paid, and just kind of the process details and things that I've learned so far. And so if you would like to see that kind of video, leave it in the comments and let me know. And anyway, I'm gonna get, we're gonna do a little cleaning um, I kind of talked a little bit longer, I guess, than I was aiming to, but we're going to do a little cleaning around here. 
Um, I'll probably do a little voiceover on the cleaning. So anyway, um, I will close out the video officially later, but um, join me for the cleaning part. Thank you everybody too for watching my videos. It's greatly appreciated. But here we are on the All right, everyone. This is a little motivation um, on helping everyone get the mood to load the dishwasher. So I kind of call this part a motivational video of it. And just sitting back and loading up the dishwasher, cleaning around it, and just getting all my dishes put on in there. Um, I hope you've so far enjoyed my video I've made today. And again, I want to kind of come back on here um, to get another one video done tomorrow. And anyway, just kind of wanting to let everybody know that I'll be putting out another video tomorrow. And again, I plan on each day. But I just kind of wanted to get some of this stuff out of the way here. And wanted to add a little cleaning in my video too. Here we go. Now I've switched over to cleaning out around this little area around the coffee maker. So here we go with that. Clean out this little area around the coffee maker. Oops, sorry, I had it turned around. Uh, Mr. Clean, Clean Freak. And that is some good smelling stuff. It makes your kitchen smell so fresh. And I, I, I've been using that in the kitchen all the time. It gets up everything. And I'll tell you what I need to buy is some more of those uh, cleaning cloths. I, I just love them. Um, of course, it saves you money in the long run because, you know, you can, it's a cleaning cloth. Wash them, put them in the laundry. And so, anyway, I, I do use them like that and just use them specifically, those for cleaning, you know, cleaning the stuff off and reusing them, you know, wash them and then reuse them as uh, cleaning again. And that way you're not just going through bunches of paper towels and all that. That cost is an added up. Even if you get them at the dollar store for one dollar uh, roll, you know that adds up around the house. And, but, yeah, I just kind of wanted to show y'all this and just kind of let y'all kind of be the judge of this one about how the cleaning went. And, and and again, I'm I've been so sick. I'm just trying to get back in the motion of me. And, you know, I, I don't want to overdo myself by no means. But I want to be able to get back on track. You know, we can't let everything hold us back in life. And YouTube is, this is what I enjoy doing. And even enjoy making daily videos. Even if it's just getting down here and talking to y'all guys. You know, I want to be friends with y'all. And, you know, I love each and every one of you. And I want to be friends with you. Uh, you know, if I got one subscriber off this video, I was wanting to show everybody what kind of coffee I drank, which is Starbucks Pike, Pike Place. Um, I mean, even if it's just one subscriber for this one video, to me, that's a new friend I made. And that, that blesses my heart to know I have, you know, made that new friend. And that you'll be coming back to watch my channel you know it's to me it's not about necessarily the subscribers which i enjoy each and every one of the subscribers don't give me that but like i said if i made one new friend versus 200 subscribers who won't come back and watch my channel you know i want them to watch my videos oh i want my new subscriber to you know, watch each video I put out, and can't wait for me to put out another one. Um, so that's that's how I hope you know YouTube goes for me. Um, I want people to make friends with this, be dedicated for it, and mm -hmm. they um, be able to have a a friend-based YouTube channel. So that way, that when you come on here. 
I'm here for my friends, not just for somebody to just come in here and watch my videos. Oh, Caleb's saying hi again. Um, not just for people to come in here and necessarily just watch my videos. You know, I want to be friends with you. I want to communicate with you on here, whether it's, um, whether it's, uh, like I said, leave leave me a thing in our in the uh, uh, comments, excuse me, and just kind of touch base. Tell me how how you are doing. I want to know about each and every one of you. Um, even if I just you know can only hit the like button, it depends on how many. Uh, that starts commenting but you know i want to be there for you and I, I try to comment back to everybody because i know you took the time to write me i want to take time to write you back if any way possible and so please you know make a comment tell me how you are you know what state you're from i i, I think of y'all is my friends you know in person, I mean, I know I've got friends, but sometimes I don't feel that way because i got many friends in the real life person. Um, you know, I've always felt like that since I was a kid. Maybe it's because I kind of grew up poor. Don't forget and to visit Caleb Optimin Gaming. You know, maybe it's like I said, because I grew up poor, I have that self-confidence in me that I felt like I didn't have a lot of friends in the world that I could just, you know, pick up the phone and call on. But that's one reason. On um, the journey I have now, you know, with here on YouTube, since I am kind of building up here on YouTube in subscribers, you know, I feel like y'all guys are my friends. I want to do this not only for myself, you know, to, like I said, make money on YouTube, but I want to do this to connect with people, connect with friends. That's the reason I, I guess I like talking in the videos too. It's just, it's a friendly connection to others. And, you know, I, I wanted to let people in my life. One, one thing, reason I started a YouTube channel at first, I wanted to leave something for my kids. But they can go back and watch your mom. If something ever happened to me, and of course, the last couple of years, that's really been on my mind because where I had been so sick, I'd had a heart attack versus this and that, and had was very at the point of something could really happen. I mean, they told me I was extremely lucky when I had my heart attack. But anyway, that right there, I just kind of wanted to say that you know i was so close to death a couple of times another day i was very close to it when they put me in the hospital when they done that bronx um I, I was deathly sick that's the reason i hadn't been on here doing videos but i wanted to leave a legacy here on youtube that my kids grandkids people that i know i'm close to you know if they just want to come and see me it's always going to be here on YouTube. And, you know, that way I can, you know, leave something for somebody and want to make it enjoyable. Um, and I just, I feel so comfortable making friends on here and being able to come on here and just talk to each and every one of you. And as I do cleaning and things like that. So that's kind of what I want to get out of YouTube. I want to get, um, you know, a friendship base. Not only, you know, with the algorithm of, you know, being payments monetized, all that. Of course, that's great. I'd love to make a living here on YouTube. But I want to work and also build up to make friends with each and every one of you. Let me know in the comments how you even feel about that. And, but I, this sink right here has been, it really needed cleaning. So after I load the dishwasher, I definitely wanted to clean the sink and get that done. Which I always thoroughly like to clean it. I use the, the cleaner first 
And then I go back and use uh, dishwashing liquid, uh, just Dawn or whatever you're using. Um, personally, I mostly use Dawn. And then I go back and kind of scrub the sink out. That way it won't be so much disinfectant necessarily in it. And see what I'm saying about I'm just about out of the Dawn dishwashing liquid I really need to get some more and I was pretty much as you can see just trying to get it out of there and the sports out of there and stuff but I'm having such a hard time getting that little last drop or two out but as you can see it's a trash can now that's what I'm coming to now put it in the trash can that means gotta go by and get some more Dollar store will get my money. Well, I'd go by the Dollar Tree, but if they have Dawn, it's in a very small bottle. And honestly, I don't know what y'all guys think about the Dollar Tree, but in my opinion, if instead of being a dollar now, it's a dollar twenty-five. So kind of nothing in the store stands for itself is in a dollar that I know of. So it's a dollar twenty-five tree. So I don't know. I've got mixed feelings about that now since they quit saying the Dollar Tree. You know, you name the store the Dollar Tree, but it's not no more dollar. So it's now a dollar twenty-five after everything went up. And it's not that I mind to pay the dollar twenty-five. It's just the point. It says Dollar Tree. So I would expect to walk in there and just pay a dollar. So that that's my like little piff of the right now, I guess. Of kind of what I've thought and been going on. And just kind of, like I said, cleaning around the stove or the uh, sink area. And this ain't no major clean video. Um, I still hope y'all enjoy it. Um, like I said, I, I just kind of wanted to touch base back in here and be able to start making videos again. Um, sometimes I get worried people won't like my video. Um, I, I sure hope you do. Each and every one of you watches it. I hope you get on there and click the like button. That does help my video get out to more people. But I, I get worried that people ain't going to do that. And I'm always so cautious now, wanting people just to, you know, like my video and things like that. And, you know, that each video I put on here, I guess that's well, one thing I kind of worry say, about a little bit. Thank you for joining me in today's video. And if you don't scare, care to subscribe to my channel and like this video and hey, comment to me. I always love to get back to everybody. Um, again, I wanted to just do a short cleaning video just to let y'all know I'm, I'm still here for y'all guys and I'm planning on, unless I feel sick or something, trying to do content each day. So anyway, thank you for joining me and I appreciate each and every one of y'all. God bless and y'all have a wonderful day and love y'all folks. Thank y'all.